I love doing book reviews. Today, it's helping people change. I'm Ruth Kudsey, the founder of Ruth Kudsey Coaching. I transformed my life and my business, and I'm passionate about helping others do the same. So this is one of my favorite coaching books because it really talks about putting the client at the heart of everything that you do. And it looks at how as coaches, we can help our clients tap into what they're really thinking and what they really want and help use things like PEAs, positive emotional activators, to help them to tap into more positive emotions, which means that they can think better and that they can therefore think more effectively. So one of the ways it talks about this is helping people to tap into their big vision. Because when you're able to take someone to their big vision, what they really want, it therefore is an inspiration for them to start to look at different opportunities and alternatives for where they are. And as coaches, we're often taken into situations where we might be a leadership coach, or we might be going into an organization as an exec coach, and we're given this remit, or our clients say, oh, this, I want to focus on my relationship, or I want to focus on, but allowing them that time and space to take a step back and think bigger picture. What is my big vision and why? What is going to be different? How am I going to stay connected to that? This book talks about how by doing that, it gives your clients that opportunity to dream. And by having that opportunity, they are therefore thinking about everything differently and it gives a different frame. So that is one of the, my first things that I love about it. The PEAs, they're not P's, they're P-E-A's. The second thing is it talks about coaching with compassion. So coaching with empathy, not sympathy. And I think this is a really important distinction because often we think about coaching somebody and we think, they might be talking about, I don't know, a relationship breakup or the death of a loved one. And we might be thinking, oh gosh, we feel so bad for them. And often when we feel that, that emotion, like we're feeling bad for somebody, we're mixing that with our experience. And when we remember when a relationship broke down and we're projecting that onto our client. But actually when we're coaching people with empathy, we're saying, we see you, we understand, but equally, we know that this is your situation and your situation is different to our situation because you're an individual. So having that frame of when we coach, that we're coaching that whole person and we're holding them in regard in a non-judgmental way with compassion. And then it's talking about the relationship, the relationship between the coach and the client and the importance of building that relationship. And a lot of that is about really listening to the client, understanding what they bring, seeing them as a whole person, seeing them within their context and appreciating that as a coach, we're in a really highly favored position to walk alongside them. It isn't about, again, us projecting about how we think that relationship should be. It's about working in partnership. By putting the client at the center of the coaching relationship, and by treating them with compassion, it takes away that judgment, takes away that feeling that they should be acting in a particular way. I honestly believe that this is at the bedrock of what we teach in the Professional Coach Diploma. And it is equally what any coach should want to be reading this, to think about how are they making sure that they're coaching, the relationship building, is infused with compassion and respect? How are they making sure that they're helping their clients tap into positive emotions? How are they making sure that they're really listening to their clients and what is going on for them and asking great questions that are salient to that client? How are they making sure that they're not bringing in their own things to that relationship? Equally, this book talks about within an organization, how you can embed these principles so you're embedding a culture of coaching within the organization. So people are therefore starting to think about compassion, starting to think about activating their PEA, starting to think about the bigger vision and that connectivity, starting to connect within, starting to connect in, intrapersonally between people. It's so important that when we have any human relationship, 
that we prioritise the personal first. And that is why I love this book. Another thing that it talks about in this book is how often a client will come to us with a focus of a session and coaches may want to stay in that focus. And this is about allowing our clients to change direction and actually making it a safe enough space that they feel that they can. So that if they're going down a particular route or if they've come to you for coaching on a particular thing, you will support them if they change. Because often people are really wary of change. And if somebody has come to you and invested money, let's say in getting their business off the ground, and then they realize that actually they want to stay in their career and they want to get a new role, that can be a really difficult thing for them to broach with you. Creating the environment where the client can look at different avenues, where they can change focus, where you're reflecting back if they've got two mutually exclusive ideas, which is the one that they want to go for. But you're allowing them to go back to the second one if they want to. Again, it's all about that client-centered approach. Really, the fundamentals of this book, it's about helping our clients learn to help themselves. It's about really embedding compassion into coaching, and it's about supporting their client on where they want to go, not where the coach wants them to go. Within an organisation, it's about embedding those principles so people start to come up with their own answers rather than having to always ask for support. It's one of my favourite books. I highly recommend it to all new and aspiring coaches. If you look over here, our next video is coming. Remember to like, subscribe and ring that bell.